One of the two Navy SEALs presumed dead after being lost at sea during a nighttime raid near Somalia was identified as 27-year-old Nathan Gage Ingram. Ingram is a Texas Tech alum graduating in 2019, and he's from the Dallas area. According to the Navy, he was in the process of seizing a vessel that was illegally transporting advanced lethal aid from Iran. It was meant to supply the Houthi forces in Yemen when he fell into a gap in the waves created between the vessel and his combat craft. Christopher Chambers jumped in to try and save him. The Navy spent 11 days searching for them, but now they believe they did not survive. Mark Balmertz, a former rear admiral in the Navy and used to manage SEAL operations just like this one, tonight he explains how difficult it was. The more challenging it is a military operation uh, and unfortunately had this tragic outcome. It's, it's just a, a dangerous operation and unfortunately things went wrong. Congressman Jody Arrington releasing a statement tonight saying in part, quote, Navy Special Warfare Operator First Class Christopher Chambers and Navy Special Warfare Operator Second Class Nathan Gage Ingram represent the very best of America and we are underserving of their selfless sacrifice. Thank God for the few who raise their right hand and swear to defend our great nation and confront the evils of this world head on. We will never forget.